It's your boy Joe Dice back at it with another video and today I'm going to be giving you something that a lot of you have been wondering a lot of you have been asking for and that is a garage without actually owning a garage update all the cars that I myself personally own First up is my 2002 Subaru Forester. This is obviously the vehicle you guys see on the channel the most. Don't mind the stuff here. I'm getting ready to start my day. Uh, uh, yeah, this is my work vehicle. It looks like garbage. Like, as you can see, this damage here, the, the, the turn signals coming out, like all this space here. This is literally, this is literally being held down by a strap. Literally. <laughs> You want to know why, like all the damage on the side. You want to know why um, the guy, the guy I bought this from, um, he's in the medical field, but uh, he fell asleep behind a wheel and drove the car into a ditch. So he sold it for dirt cheap. I picked it up for dirt cheap, did a few minor adjustments to make it my work vehicle, and she's been running strong ever since. Uh, she does need an oil change, but other than that, she runs strong. And I gotta figure out what's going on with power steering. But other than that, she's fine. Let's grab my stuff and we'll move on to the next vehicle. Now, the next vehicle was supposed to be a gift for my mother, but um, it ended up not happening that way. It is my 2006 Volkswagen Jetta. Um, I picked this up off of a friend, a close friend of the family. Um, she, she literally had it. I think she was the original owner or the second owner. And... Um, the, the, the mechanics that she kept going to just kept ripping her off, you know, doing more damage to the car just to keep, uh, get her to keep coming. So she bought a new car and she said, hey, I'm going to junk it. I'm like, no, my mom loves the Jetta. Let me get the Jetta. So I, I, I gave her 500 bucks for the Jetta and uh, now it's mine. <laughs> uh, I was going to give it to my mom, but it turns out that there's a tranny problem, which isn't an actual tranny problem. It's a problem with the uh, EPC or whatever it is i don't know it's it's electronic position control whatever the epc and um she's been getting work on and off ever since but now she's up and running she is good um i do need new tires though because not this tire but not this tire <laughs> the other i think it's the other two tires yeah let's see this yeah, yeah yeah look how low that tire is and that one has a, a, a titty Look, look how bad this is. All oh, this right here. There's a bubble right here. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. But, um, yeah, you know, other than that, you know, getting those two tires changed, she's fine. And, um, well, I, I don't even know what I have back here. What do I have back here? Yo, it's been so long since I've actually went into this vehicle to see what was there. <sighs> another heavy back because the oh that's right two buckets full of comic books ah, I'm a comic book head <laughs> all right anyways let's move on to the next car of course the next car on the fleet is my favorite hands down without a doubt without a shadow of a doubt my favorite car my C4 1986 Corvette and yes i know there's damage i know there's damage i know she needs a paint job she needs a paint job now you might ask why i don't drive her as often as i should why she is as filthy as she is oh gosh i didn't even think she was that bad so yeah we're, we're definitely gonna have to go get her washed not today though because it looks like it's gonna rain and it'd be redundant but uh, i get a lot of you know why don't you drive her? Why don't we see her that much on the channel? And the, the reason behind that is she's a four speed, uh, technically four plus three manual transmission, which I have no problem driving. You guys see, I drive my stick shift all the time whenever I can. But for a 1986 Corvette, she has 77,000 original miles. Original miles, and that's hard to come by. So. 
What I want to do is I want to keep her. Well, I want to get her into pristine condition, and I want to I want to let her live out her days so that way she don't get too many miles and stuff. Right now she's on Virginia Antique Plates, and um obviously check out the name. Check out the name. Woo! Yep, gotta get them uh, plates. And um yeah, on to the next car. See, now the reason why I'm hopping in the Jetta, aside from my hair being messed up <laughs> and the, the noise, is because my other cars, they're not next to me. They're not in the vicinity of where I live. They're actually parked up places. <laughs> so, um, let's go drive there and uh, check them out. Oh no, of course. Of course, the moment that I decide to shoot a video, it decides to rain, you know. I, I don't know if you can tell, see the driplets. It decides to rain. I said that, I said it was looking cloudy. I said that it was gonna rain, but I guess that's my luck, right? Anyways, the next car I'm gonna show you, I think it's only been featured on the channel once. I think there was an entire video. Uh, here, here's a clip. It makes it so much better, so much better. And she handles like a dream on the highway. Not bouncy, you know, not, not wiggly. I mean, it, it's perfect, it's perfect. My only fear is, you know, because I'm so used to race cars, I don't worry about flipping it. That's it. Just worry about flipping it. Whee! But, um, yeah, it's my Mountaineer. It has been sitting here at uh, a friend's house for quite some time. Because it has a salvage title. And it, have a, it has a salvage title for the most stupidest reason. Well, A, it's made by Ford. I'm Mercury. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, um... It's been sitting because I've been waiting for the title and the title is salvage. Well, it's, it's not salvage. I think it's rebuilt. Anyways, whatever. And it's only because of this little damage right here. This little bit of damage. So, um, this car, the, the reason, I don't know if you want to, you know, why cars get salvaged. They, uh, insurance people salvage cars when the price to fix them because of an accident or whatever the price to fix them is equal to or more than the value of a car like the, the value of this car or whatever car they're salvaging so this car isn't worth that much value wise so a small little dent like that this is all frame this is frame so that would have to get framework and they would probably, she probably, the person that had this first probably wanted a brand new door. A brand new door would cost a while. And to fix this, it was more than the value of the car. So they salvaged it out. Sorry, sorry. They salvaged it out. Oh yeah, and I need to, I need to replace the light. But other than that, she's a great car. She's a great car. And this is what's going to help me. This, this truck right here, well, SUV, is going to be what helps me with um upcoming events and um i will be reveal i know i keep talking about some big event that's going to be happening you know i i will reveal that shortly not in this video maybe not this video maybe in the next video but yeah um if you want to see more about this car yo i was going to junk this because it was just sitting and the title was taking forever i set the title to uh the virginia dmv and it takes a while for it to come back but because of covid it's taken even longer so um i was gonna just junk it i was just gonna junk it and but i need it now i need it so i can't junk it <laughs> and I'm, I'm happy i decided to keep it because she is she is such a great truck suv she's such a great car i love her i do the, the one time i drove her uh, no problem no problem at all I'm gonna get in here because it's raining. Definitely gonna get in here. And I'm making uh, my friend's dog's bark. So I don't need people yelling at me. Damn, son. You think somebody crashed into the house because they, they don't know how to drive? I mean, they probably do know how to drive. They just weren't paying attention to the road like they should be. <laughs> I don't wanna talk. I'm driving while I'm vlogging, right? In the rain. Okay, well, I have the Nissan Ultima. You, you all know that I have the Nissan Ultima. Um, not in the best condition, but it's still drivable. And um, it's currently in Franklin's hands. And uh, he's at work, so I can't show you guys that unless I find out what time he gets out of work. But until he gets out of work, 
we're gonna go take a look at these other cars that I have. One that was just in the last video, one that was in the Toys R Us video. Check them out if you haven't checked them out yet. And um, yeah, the the I'll explain when we get there. Okay, so then we have the uh, Chevy Astro. Um, this was again inside the Toys R Us video where uh, me and my wife and kids we actually went to one of the last two remaining Toys R Us in the entire world, I think. And um, yeah, we had a great time, you know. But it the part that sucks is that they actually closed down that Toys R Us. And I don't think there is any more Toys R Us left around. So, uh, depression. Anyways, um, this is currently my dad's van. It is under my name. Uh, but it, it's, it's, it's both of ours. You know, if anything happens, it goes to me. You know, whatever. I don't want to talk about it. But this is my van. It's my dad's van as well. And, um... She runs, drives, going camping with her. It's beautiful. Um, it's just the Viper Smart system that's on her sucks and it's outdated. And the um, the battery keeps dying because of the Viper Smart system. So, yeah, that's, that's a problem that needs to be addressed. Uh, now this car, this next car I'm going to show you, you obviously just caught a glimpse of it, is the newest car of the fleet. And um, she's only been in one video under my ownership, which was the last video, but it is the G35, AKA the Skyline. <laughs> and, and overseas, this is considered a Skyline, but here in America, it's Infinity. Um, yeah, so this was my brother Steven's car. Uh, if you're wondering why it is now my car, I don't know if you could tell or you watched the last video, but let me show you why it's now my car. Yeah, man, it goes zero to 60 and never right now. <laughs> the entire engine has been taken apart because it is seized. Um, yeah, and we can't get in it right now because the battery's out. And I don't have my jumper box like I had in the last video. Um, if you didn't see the last video, check it out. It is very interesting. I had to single-handedly push this car from all the way over there next to that gold car, all the way down here, and then back it up here. And there, there speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. That's my van too. Technically, it's his now. We, we had a deal, but it's his now, but it's still under my name. This, this guy. What, what, what are you doing? What, what are you doing? Look at this guy. He has these giant rims on the back. Granny, he's missing a lug. He's got these giant ass rims on the back, and then the single rim that I gave him with the van. The single rim. Look, giant rim, giant rim, giant rim off of a um, Dodge Grand Caravan. What's this? Compared to that, the, the one rim that I, I actually gave him with the car. Which, which when I gave him the rims, all four rims were there. Wow. For the record, Steven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the record, Steven. Oh, the new ones? The new ones? These, these are the sauce for the for the Odyssey. They they haven't you guys haven't seen the Odyssey this yet. Is this, this, one, this, one. this is oh this is going on my van. My Astro. <laughs> so so Steven, I was just um explaining to them what happened. Well, why you gave me the car? Oh, what'd you tell them? I, I showed I showed them. I showed them the engine. That's not why I gave it to you. That, that's why you didn't want it anymore. Oh, yeah, that's why I didn't want it anymore. <laughs> but, um, you, you care to elaborate how that happened? Too much vroom vroom and not enough oil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, the, the engine is seized. And, um, we're gonna buy a new motor, have it installed. Look at these rims. So nice. 
this bumper aftermarket I just realized you could definitely tell in the rain the two different shades of color what color this this is darker and this is lighter you could no, no. you could definitely stand right here and you no, can tell no. the difference no, yo comment cool. comment down below if you can tell the difference because I can see it I can see the difference on camera too well that's because you're you you're know. colorblind no, no you gotta look at it yo, there's so much dog crap back here it's not even funny this this car even after it breaks down it is never ever leaving my possession you know why because you're a hoarder no no <laughs> something sacred has happened with this this van oh yeah me too <laughs> um so you want to subscribe to my brother's only fans no i'm just kidding <laughs> it's only vans only vans yes yeah. only vans um so remember how i took my kids to toys r us yeah there is no longer any more toys r us right. well i stepped in shit you stepped in shit I did. you're a shit stepper you went from a shit talker to a shit stepper I the keys to why do you have them oh because you went inside i went inside i ain't going inside yeah, now you got no choice sir eh? no i can just give them to daddy because i gotta give him a thousand dollars anyways is he on his way home i don't know he won't answer his phone I gotta give him money too. I gotta leave his water. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, we're gonna get this on the road, and uh, it needs to go to our our big plans. They don't know about the big plans yet. He's gonna the, the, light it on fire. No, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, subscribe. We're gonna set this on fire. <laughs> but um, we're still waiting for Franklin, so I can show you guys the um, current status of the Ultima. And like I said, um, the jet is fine now. What oh, is? Yeah, almost oh, six hundred dollars later. I crashed. I didn't see the back of it. it ain't fine mm. no more. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you crash that into that, how do I claim it on the insurance? <laughs> hey, um, yeah, you know, one of my cars crashed into the other car. Don't ask how it happened and where it happened. It just happened. Can you pay me to fix it? <laughs> what? It's still got thread on it. So Alright, so let, let's call Franklin and see what the hell's going on. Well, obviously, it is the next day. Um, yeah, because, you know, I can't shoot one whole video in one whole day because something always pops up. It don't matter. Um, Franklin was at work yesterday. He's at work today, so I can't get to him to shoot footage of the Nissan Ultima, which is the last remind, remaining car that I have yet to show you. So here's a clip of it. <laughs> I can't believe he did that. You can see Timmy. Damn it, Timmy. Okay, Joe Dice. <laughs> today, today is a very sad day in the automotive industry. I gave this beautiful 2009 Nissan Ultima to Fudgy Wudgy the Whale to hold. And you want to know what come, came out of that? For those of you who are not car people, let me simplify this to you. See this thing right here? This is a strut. This is what makes your car go bounce, bounce. And it is broken. Right? These are your brakes. These are what makes you go stop, stop. This is what makes you come to a complete stop. This is what saves your life. You got the rotor. You got the caliper. Oh, oh, there's no brake pad. Where's the brake pad? There's supposed to be a brake pad right there and it's missing. Again, I didn't change them. I went and took it to a shop. <sighs> Let me continue. Oh, what is that you see back there? Oh, is that your control arm? Oh man, that's supposed to be over here, flush to this. Fudgy Wudgy the whale didn't do it correctly. Yeah, it, it, nothing's changed, it's the same. Maybe, um, what, a spring or two is the broken more? <laughs> no, it's fine. I love you, Franklin. But that's gonna do it for today's video. If you're stopping in for the first time, please do a smash that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, do subscribe and 
click that little notification bell. You know, YouTube doesn't like to notify people unless you turn on that notification bell. And um, comment down below. The more you interact with me, because I do reply to comments as quickly as I possibly can, and as the more you interact with the video, the more YouTube likes it. The more we grow the Dice Club. Thank you for being a part of the Dice Club. And I love you, and I'll see you in the next video.